Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be my hobby update for December 2012. So, for a painting update, uh, looking here at the plan, I kept on attacking it. So, for this month, uh, the things I need to still kill off was three river trolls and two of the board chariots. And then after that, I just kind of kept on going. I did... Uh, 50 night goblin archers so it's really good to get all this core done you know I kind of want to do a night goblin army at some time where there's just lots and lots of night goblins all painted should look pretty uh, impressive and plus two and I now have the option so I mean if I ever want to try having my uh, night goblin blocks having the ability to shoot well boom now I also have the models painted so that's pretty cool uh, kind of speared on from the one FAQ I also went and I, I painted the three snotling bases I still have to base them but you know what I I'm not really impressed with them I'll probably use them once for a lark and then put them away they're just even with the update they still suck but you know the main thing is it gave me something to paint it's something different and uh, there you go uh, for what I have to do next month I see I'm supposed to be doing my rock narok which I am so scared to do because I've made the mistake of already building it so that means that all the howda and all the hard angles in there so that's really gonna be not so fun but uh, we'll see how it goes I'm hoping I mean it shouldn't take me the whole month I said only the one Arachnarok for the whole month just cuz you know with Christmas in there and all those things then I can kinda take it easy but I think that after I, I'm done the Arachnarok which I think will be taking me about two weeks maybe three I should have another week to get something else out which might be some spider riders or something like that uh, on the War Machine side, I also painted this Scarfell uh, Griffin and also Harlan Versch, which I don't have here in the picture. But, you know, I'm just going to, this is part of another tale I'm doing. And for this one, I'm just going to be doing one model per month. So just really slow. But, uh, you know what, there's not many models in the army anyway. So it's, you know, it's kind of perfect. For model building, I had talked about last month about how I was working with those orcs with the spears and the shields. And you know, I kept on picking away at them. I think I built another dozen or so. But uh, the big thing I was putting together is these guys here. So it's now my fourth, well, privateer press army. So now the main thing here is I have two war machine armies and I have two hordes armies. So if I ever want to do a demo, I can go and, and run people through it. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And, you know, I'm just really looking forward to use these guys. Uh, for people that don't know anything about privateer press, these guys are like dogs of war, which I guess you have to be kind of knowing the old Warhammer for how it used to be. But basically, this is stuff where you can be using it other armies or you can make it an army by itself. And really, to be honest, it really sucks as its own army, but you know, they're different and they're fun. Um, the two casters I'm going with here, at least to start, is McBain and uh, E. Magnus, and they just have some neat shenanigans they can do with their feats and stuff. But if nothing else, I already own Signar, and a lot of this stuff can work for them too. So, I mean, the models are going to overlap, and uh, same thing, there's a lot of solos in here that overlap, so it works very well, and I can't wait to use these guys. Going to the army update, I, I really have to come back and talk about these mercenaries because, man, when I first picked them up, I was really, really excited to play them. I mean, uh, when I finally decided I was going to make the plunge, I planned out what casters I was going to play, I planned out what I was going to do, uh, I, I was going to have a bunch of people coming over anyway to do some practice games and some... Uh, you know, just some games at my place. So I quickly bought all the stuff, brought it home, and put it together, and then it was a, a real killer. Uh, for those who don't know, the way that Privateer Press works is that, yes, you have the rules in a main book for how the models are, but because you have to fill them in with a pen as they take damage and all this stuff, well, with a marker, um, you also get cards that comes with them. And you really need those cards in order to, to really play the game. And one of the unfortunate things that happens with this is the whole thing where this is now the second edition of the rules. And so sometimes if you get some old stock, you get the old rule card and it's completely useless. And unfortunately, when I went and I got this army, that happened with two of the, the, the boxes. So first of all, with one of my units of the little like Indian guys, old card. That means I can't use them. Uh, same thing. You know, I could have gone and just, like said, okay, whatever. I just won't use that unit. I'll make an army of something else. But my main caster at the time, because I only had the one, E. Magnus, 
also had the old card. So it was just killer. You know, of course those were the last boxes I put together. And so after doing all the work, I couldn't play it. So that was, that really sucked. Um, for those who don't know, you can get them very easily. You know, you can uh, order them and buy them online for 50 cents. Uh, or if you know that they have everything where it's kind of like an app that goes on your uh, iPad, you could also just do it on there and you don't need the cards anyway. I'm a Blackberry guy, so I don't have that. But it was just really, really, uh, just a, just one of the things that happens. And uh, another thing, too, is in one of my boxes, I was missing a piece. So, I mean, it's one of the things where it's two hands holding onto a gun. And so, really, I just had to kind of modify the model. So, it, it just it looks stupid, but whatever. Again, you can order these bits, but I'm just going to kind of leave it as is. Um, and, I mean... That happens in Games Workshop too, but fairly infrequently. It happens uh, a lot more with Privateer Press, but then again, I have to say, with a lot more, this is now my fourth army, uh, especially with Everblight. I've bought a whole bunch of stuff, and now this is just the second and third time that I, I had a wrong cor uh, card, and just the second time that I had a bits issue with actually the first time I had an extra leg so it wasn't a big deal and this time I had one missing but I was just oh I mean yeah so that kind of really sucked the uh, drive out of me uh, the other thing going on for armies for me is just of course orcs I'm always loving orcs looking ahead at tournaments and uh, that's going to bring us to tournaments then so December uh, tournament updates there actually is a, a tournament I could be going to in uh, Calgary, it's called Winter War. They have it, uh, War Machine. One, sorry, they have Fantasy one day and they have 40k the other day. Uh, my brother is going to be heading down for the 40k day, but the problem is that the Fantasy one that I would love to go to is on the same day as the tournament that I'm running. Uh, we had this year-long league going through the entire year where people were playing and the points were getting bigger. Uh, the, the stats being tracked all the way through, and then this was going to be uh, a big elimination tournament, uh, kind of like, you know, the, the NHL playoffs type thing, where the, the top tier person is up against the lowest, and it's just elimination going down from there. Uh, four lists going into it, sorry, 40 points, three lists, so you have to have three casters. Uh, you can see the ones here that I'm going to be doing, uh, Lilith, Epic Thagrosh and Vale, uh, but the big thing is I'm just going to be there as a fill-in. So, you know, if, if it, there's odd numbers or something crazy, then I'll be playing. Uh, even if I do, I'm not allowed to win because I'm putting it on. You know, it wouldn't be right if I run a tournament just to win it. But uh, the main thing, you know, it's a free tournament. I'm giving out $300 plus worth of prizes just coming from my own pocket just because I really want to support the community. But uh, one of the things that's really killing this is that, you know, it was... It was a pretty good year. It all worked out very well. I, I made some changes for next year that was going to fix the few holes there were. And the problem was that the store owner decided that, you know, most store owners don't do too much. You know, they might go and run maybe one or two events a year, maybe, and then that's it. And th to be honest, this guy runs tons of events. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. All the stuff he's doing all the time. And so to be honest... Something like this, where it's kind of like a slow grow thing, was kind of the same as the slow grow stuff that he was already doing with other things. I mean, it wasn't year long for what he was doing. He was doing like a couple of months at a time, but uh, he really wanted to change it. So uh, all of a sudden it got canceled, and next year he's going to change it to some uh, team event thing. But that really just killed the momentum. And so this doesn't happen for a couple more days after the time I record this. But I, I really don't expect a lot of people. So that's kind of unfortunate, but just the way it goes. Uh, looking ahead, I have more tournaments coming up. I have one uh, coming up here like in January, another one in February. And there's one going to be very interesting. Uh, both of them uh, fantasy, by the way. And one of them is going to be very interesting because you have to bring a special character. So uh, the other thing with that is the whole fact where you get to get it basically either half off or uh, a, a number of points off, depending on where he's at. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to be really different. But I'm going to be touching more on that as we get closer. So there you go. There's my hobby update. And it uh, should be a fun month, especially with Christmas and me buying new things. So there you go. Thanks. Bye.